Hey, this is your favorite tech with another tutorial. Be sure to check us out on our website or text us if you need tech support. How to repair Windows 10 using automatic recovery. And I want you to go to settings, then select updates and security. Then on the right hand side or the left hand side, select recovery. And then you're going to click reset now. And it's going to take you into the blue screen recovery. When you get there, this is what we're going to do. Let's go to advanced options. All right. Now you can choose an option. Let's start with troubleshoot. You can reset your PC, but we're going to go to advanced options. These are all the different options. You can restore your computer. So there's the system restore. So we're going to go into system restore and it's going to find a restore point. So assuming you already created a system restore point, you should be able to move forward in this screen. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this. Okay. If you did not create a restore point, you're going to get an X box that say you do not have a system restore point. At that point, you're going to have to skip up the video to the other sections to try out. Now, if you can pinpoint when your problem started, like after you started a specific program, then I would recommend boot into your computer in safe mode and uninstall that program and then reset your computer and see if it works. But if it doesn't, we're going to go here in the restore point. So in this example, we see one system restore point here. If you have multiple, you can always select a different one, but it seems that we do have one. So select your system restore point. So let's go ahead and press next on the system restore point. So this is just details on what you're going to restore back to and it's going to show the drive in which you're restoring. Press finish. It's going to just basically give you a confirmation saying, hey, if you're going to restore, it cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? You're going to just press yes. You cannot interrupt this once it starts. You can mess up your computer, so you have to let it finish. Click yes and let the restore process begin. Be patient. It will take a while. All right, the system restore has finished. So it restored back to that specific date and time. And you're just going to click reset and your system is going to start up and load up. And hopefully this solves your problem. So if it does not work, I'm going to show you the next way to solve this problem. And it does require us to go back to the automatic repair troubleshooting menu. So we're back at the menu and we're gonna try another method, advanced options, troubleshoot, select advanced. Now we're gonna try startup repair. System's going to do its diagnostics. So we're just gonna wait while I do that thing real quick. So this tool, the startup repair tool should fix everything. It, once it's done running, reset your computer and see if you can boot into Windows. If it does not fix it, we're gonna go right back to the startup repair blue screen once again and the way to get there again is just hard reset your computer three times and it's going to take you there and we're going to try another method so assuming that that third option did not work we're going to do the automatic repair option we're going to click advanced options then we're going to select troubleshoot we're going to select advanced options select command prompt and we're going to enter in a series of commands that could potentially fix the issue so first thing we're going to do is pick our main hard drive. So for most people, it's C drive, put the, the, the hard drive plus the colon, then hit enter. Then the next line lets you know you're at the C drive. You're gonna type D-I-R and press enter. Now it's gonna show your directories. So that's how you know you're right in the right directory. It should show that it's program files, users, Windows, Windows O. That's what we just put into the command prompt. It could be the D drive if your main drive is your D drive, but most people, for the uh, t purposes of this example, use it as their C drive. The next thing we're going to do is type in CD space forward slash Windows forward slash S V S T E M 32 system 32 forward slash config. I'm going to hit enter. Now we're going to type MD backup, or you can name it whatever you want. Yeah, so you can name it whatever you want. You can name it MD, then backup one or backup two, hit enter. Next, we're gonna type copy, space. We're gonna type star, then period, then the star symbol again, then the space, then B-A-C-K up, and press enter. So that's that's copy, star, dot, star, uh, space, backup one. Now we're gonna type CD, reg, back, B-A-C-K, CD, reg, back, hit enter. Now we're in the reg, back, we're gonna type in D-I-R, hit enter, type copy, space, star sign dot 
another star sign, space, then two dots, star, star sign, and then hit enter. So you're gonna type what you saw on the screen, and then hit enter. This is gonna tell you overwrite. You're gonna, click, you're gonna select A and press enter. It's gonna say overwrite all and say five files copied. So at this point, you should be good to go and close out your command prompt and you can click continue to Windows 10. Okay, so that should help you with the issues. I showed you quite a few methods and hopefully this should help you from here. Hey, if you found this video valuable, go ahead and return the favor by liking and subscribing to this channel. If you subscribe, type the phrase I subscribed in the comment section below. Keep in mind when you subscribe, it motivates us to continue to make these free videos. Lastly, if you enjoy learning about technology, entrepreneurship, or making money online, go ahead and check out my other videos on my other channel. Thanks for your support.